Hey guys, Zomvox here, and today we are going to be doing my preseason predictions for the US Fells 2022 inaugural season. Put it simply, I have to make this because I want to see if these are right and if my guesses are right naturally. And so this is going to be my predictions for the entire year. It's going to be me guessing which teams make the playoffs and which ones don't and who wins the title. My preseason predictions. So without further ado, let's get started with the South Division which features the Birmingham Stallions, Houston Gamblers, New Orleans Breakers, and Tampa Bay Bandits. To put it simply, there's going to be a 10-week season, so each team plays 10 games. And to me, I find that if you get like 6 wins, that's definitely a playoff team. And the Gamblers, I see them going probably 2-8, and eight, I'll be honest. I think they could maybe win one of their two games against the Breakers. I think they'll probably get swept by the Bandits and probably get swept by the Stallions. And I see them winning either the Maulers or Generals. I could see them get three wins, but with how their roster is pretty weak, I think Kevin Sumlin can get them a couple wins, but I don't think they're going to finish that well. So my final guess for them is two and eight. As for the New Orleans Breakers, I think they're going to be literally just slightly better. I think they could beat the Bandits one or two games, and I think they have a better shot at beating the Maulers and Generals. And so instead of two and eight, I think they'll go 3-7, and because I think they can win one more game overall. Essentially, the Breakers and Gamblers play each other twice, and I think the Breakers have a better shot at sweeping than the Gamblers do. And then in terms of against the Generals and Maulers, since I don't see either team beating the Panthers or Stars, I think that the Breakers have a better shot to win both those games than the Maulers do. So, I mean, than the Gamblers do. So I think the Gamblers going 2-8 and eight, and the Breakers going 3-7. and seven. As for the first playoff team, the Birmingham Stallions, I have them finishing second in this division. Now, in terms of where I think they'll go, I think that they could sweep both those teams below them and then maybe win one against the Bandits, which would be like five wins. And then I could see them beat the Maulers or Generals, be seven wins. And I could see them beat the Stars or Panthers, but I could also see them potentially losing one game to the Breakers or the Gamblers. So for them, I'm going to predict that they end up going 6-4, and four, just because I see them having a bigger chance at losing some of those games that I think they could win, which is still good enough for the playoffs, but not necessarily the best in the world. So my prediction is 6-4. and four. Then as for the Tampa Bay Bandits, I see them sweeping the Gamblers and the Breakers with ease. I see them beating the Maulers and the Generals. So that right there is six wins, I think are guaranteed. As for the games against the Stars, Panthers, and two against the Stallions, I can see them lose one to the Stallions and then one to the Panthers or Stars. And so I think they will go 8-2. and two. My final predictions, the Bandits win the division at 8-2, and two, Stallions finish second at 6-4, and four, the Breakers finish third at 3-7, and seven, and the Gamblers are last at 2-8. and eight. As for the North Division with the Michigan Panthers, New Jersey Generals, Philadelphia Stars, and Pittsburgh Ballers, the worst team in this division is... I'm going to go with the Pittsburgh Maulers. I think their run-heavy offense isn't going to be situated best to play the Stars or the Panthers or their one game against the Bandits. So right there, I view that as five losses guaranteed. I do think they can beat the Breakers or the Gamblers, which I see them as two wins. And I can see them win one against the Generals. So I think they're going to go three and seven. As for the Generals themselves, put it simply, I see them also being able to beat the Breakers, and the Gamblers. But at the same time, I don't know if I see them necessarily beating the the Maulers twice. I do see them beating them probably once. So for that reason, I kind of find them as the same exact way. Though, in predicting upsets, I think they have a better shot to upset a team. So I think they'll end up going 4-6. and six. Next, the second place team, I'm going to go with the Philly Stars. I think that they'll be the second best team in that division. And with them being the second best team, the record I predict them having is that they will sweep the Maulers or Generals and then win one other game. So essentially, I think they'll go 500 against one of them and then sweep one, which is three wins. I see them beating the Bandits and I see them beating the Gamblers. And then because of that being five wins, I think that they could beat either the Stallions or the Bandits once, or the Panthers once. And so for them, I would have them going 7-3. and f- three. And as for the Michigan Panthers, who I think finished first, I think we'll also go 7-3. and three. Put it simply, 
I think that they have a better shot to sweep their division. And so I think in terms of divisional opponents, they'll do better than the Stars. And I feel like the Panthers, their biggest test will be against the Bandits and Stallions. And then I also feel like just like with the, with the Stars, they'll lose one in their game. But I think because of how they'll lose and like point differential and stuff like that, I think they will end up winning the division. As for the playoffs, that would pit the Michigan Panthers against the Philly Stars. And it would pit the Stallions against the Bandits. And since these will be moved into a neutral site and not actually at Birmingham's home stadium... I feel like Birmingham's loss of a constant potential home field advantage will hurt them a lot, and I feel like the Bandits will pretty much easily win that game and get to the championship game. And then as for the North Division and their two teams, I think that the Michigan Panthers are just better than the Stars. And I feel like Jeff Fisher's more like traditional playoff experience versus Bart Andrews' more wacky playoff experience based on NFL versus like NFL Europe will be a really tough matchup for either team. That game I can see go either way, but I think the star I mean the stars just I don't think they have a good enough quarterback to win in the playoffs compared to the Panthers. And I feel like that's where the experience of a guy like Shea Patterson who's played at these big schools like Michigan and Ole Miss and the experience of Paxton Lynch will edge them off. That being said, I think that in the title game as much as I want to say the Panthers win, my prediction has them losing in the title game. Put it simply, the Bandits just look like a preseason powerhouse. And when you have a quarterback as good as Jordan Taumu, and if you get the good sides of Todd Haley for an entire season, that team's offense is going to be insane. And so because of that, I have the Bandits winning the whole thing. So that's my preseason predictions. Um, if you want to let yours be known in the comments, just see them down below and I'll interact with you guys and say why I agree or disagree with it, and say you guys why you disagree and agree with mine. This has been Zomfox. If you want to be notified as soon as I upload videos, since my tier list is going to, or my power rankings is going to come out on Wednesday, just subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified as soon as I upload a video. And as always, have a great night.